When I designed our home library, I knew I wanted the bookshelves to go all the way up to the ceiling to really make use of these vaulted ceilings. It was a little bit tricky getting the slope just so, but I also recognized that I wasn't going to be getting that much extra space since our schoolroom previously had the Calyx IKEA bookcases lining almost every wall. Here's what I did get. I did get to use this space above the ladder that would have been not utilized very well. We had a couple of floating shelves, but for the most part, we've been able to utilize this space really well. The other thing is that I have everything that I can see. I can see all the things that we have, all the books, all of the um, games, and that makes it really convenient for me. Not everything is here, however. We do have a couple of storage uh, cabinets. So there is some storage behind the cabinets. But for the most part, we have a lot of the things visual, which makes it appealing for me. Here's the downside. I wanted built-ins that looked like they were custom. These are not. These are IKEA bookcases, the Billy bookcase in particular. They look nothing like the Billy bookcase because we made a few adjustments primarily in the trim that you see between the bookcases and the trim on each shelf. But the problem is that these shelves were probably never intended for this many books. So the shelves have to withstand or withhold a lot of weight. And this has already caused some issues. I thought that adding the trim would keep the shelves from bowing down the way you see bookcases where books have been on the shelves for many years. However, we did encounter another problem. Our trim is already separating from the bookcase. So this, this is a real big problem because those are just nailed in with some very thin nails. So while it looks nice, it's not going to be functional long term. So I could definitely push a lot of the books back. But the reason why I had that trim put in in the first place is because there are some books that aren't going to be able to be pushed back anymore. You can see some of these are just too long. And with some of our games, I wanted to maximize as much space as possible. So adding this extra bit of trim actually gave us maybe three quarters of an inch. And by removing the backing behind each of these bully bookcases and just having the wall exposed, we were able to get another about half inch. So this really gave us a lot more space. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it was a lot more space in terms of the kinds of books that we could store here. The next issue is that while we, we did hire someone to do a lot of this work, we already see some separation in the bookcases. So we do have this lovely ladder, which has made reaching some of these upper shelves really fantastic, but I uh, can't figure out how to keep it from moving. So once we're up here, we actually need to always keep one hand on the, um, the ladder, which makes it hard to actually get and retrieve and uh, put books back. But now you can see that there's already a lot of cracks and separation in the bookcases. You can see it all along here. Now, granted, we are in Southern California. There, we, we are prone to earthquakes. This could be some settling, but overall, I do think that this is partially workmanship and also partially the fact that we used bookcases that probably aren't intended for this much wear and tear. The next thing is that organization has been a lot more challenging than before and in part it's because the bookcase shelves are adjustable which I love. It's kind of like the whole novelty of having bookshelves that you can adjust the shelves means that you can have a really narrow or not very high bookshelf here. So you can put things that are quite flat and then you can have a larger opening for either tall books or toys. The problem is that in the past, when we used to organize our 
different categories, I would put all of a particular subject area together, whether they were tall books or short books. That's not going to work in this case. And in the past, we were using our Calyx bookcase or the Expedite bookcase where the openings were about 16 inches high. So quite a big opening and 16 inches deep approximately. So quite a deep um, bookcase. And so while it wasn't always aesthetically pleasing to have really tall books next to really short books, a lot of times I could double row my books and put the short ones in the back and the tall ones in the front or vice versa for aesthetics, however, or just place tall books next to short books. Now, I place all of the shorter books on one shelf and all the tall ones. So I, I've organized by height rather than subject area, even though this whole section to begin with is science. There, there's now going to be botany like on every shelf where in the past botany would have all been collected together. Different animals would be collected together. If we had a unit on bees, all of my bee content would be together. Now it's a little bit more separated, which means that it takes a little bit more time to find all of the resources that we have. One mistake that turned out to be kind of a nice... Um, design element, two things. One was that the ladder we ordered ended up being too short for the design that I had made. And so this book uh, or the shelf right here is quite short, only about four inches, and it should have been about 12 inches. The design needed to be altered sort of last minute in order to use the ladder that we bought. We could have returned the ladder and got a larger ladder, but actually this this turned out to be a happy mistake. One is that it gives me a very unique bookshelf, which allows me to put some of the things that are too tall or can only be laid horizontally on this little bookshelf. So it wasn't wasted in that respect. It actually gave us a unique place to put things that we want to lay flat. And the other thing is that we were able to get all of our lights in. If this was taller, that last light would not have been able to be over that bookcase. So two things positive out of uh, a mistake in the design that I, that I made. There's also this bookcase over here, which is half the size, or maybe even more so. It's only a few inches deep. And that's because this door here needed to, well, we wanted it to open all the way and not hit a bookcase. So in putting a short bookcase back here, our contractor had to cut every shelf in half so that it would fit here. At this depth, he, he cut the entire bookcase basically in half so that it would fit here. And this ended up giving us a really nice place to display things that were going to be, that I wouldn't want to take up an entire book shelf for, but little decorative items and even some CDs and little books and toys and um, other trinkets that fit really well in this little spot that would have been not a great use of space for the rest of our bookcases. So this is just a few of the things that we have encountered since doing our home library. And I'm sure that as the months and years go by, we'll have other reflections on this home library.